hello everyone today we will talk about force method and we will analyze uh, the beam by using the force method so here i have take one uh, beam that i am going to analyze and i will use the force method so in the force method what we have to do the first things we have to find out the indeterminacy i mean how many degree we have indeterminacy so in our case we know the equilibrium has the three equations all right so three equations one is the upward one is the down uh, like the vertical horizontal and the moment equations right so in here in our beam we can see we have the a y which is a uh, uh, vertical equations then a x is a horizontal equations and the m a is a moment equations all right so, so this is the three equations and also here for the roller we have only one equation so how we can know okay this is the roller support okay when you have the roller support that spin you have only you know the uh, vertical displacement all right so you take the vertical displacement that's why so now what will happen in here so we have total four equations so we as our equilibrium equations uh, we have three so that's why i just minus i subtract the the value then i get the one degree in determinacy okay our first job is finished so now i am going to move to draw the primary structure and the redundant all right so in this case this is you know like the fixed support and this is uh, the roller support so what i am going to uh, uh, what i'm going to do i just you know like put this 50 kilonewton downward force okay to the beam so in this case what will happen the beam will okay uh, 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 in in here del b is a displacement all right okay so what will happen for the redundant okay so we will take by only one because we have one degree in determinacy so i take in here the by all right so when i will put the force from the down uh, like to, from this side to this side i mean upward so what will happen in here so in here also one displacement will happen so which is called del b prime so del b prime that's mean it is in in here we have the by by upward directions okay and the fbv which is called the flexibility uh, coefficient all right so we will get uh, this value later by using the formula all right so now in here what we have to write we have to write the compatibility equation so in the compatibility equations so for the actual beam okay so this is the actual beam so in the actual beam there is no deflection so that's why i write the zero all right then what i'm going to do in the primary structure you see there is a displacement here so i write the del b okay why i put the negative because it is going downward all right then what i'm going to do i add okay i'm going to add the redundant by so uh, when you put the redundant by what happened it is you know like giving us the displacement by fbv so i am just writing the by fbv here i just uh, 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 plug in the uh, equations all right so once i finish uh, to you know once i finish plug in uh, into the compatibility equation so what i will do i will go to the step three and step three basically we have to find out the first del b okay so in this primary structure we have to have we we have del b and in the redundant we have by and also we have the fbv value right so step by step i will find out and i will show you how you can also find out the value all right so what will happen in here so step three we will just take the beam here all right so this is the fixed uh, support beam all right so we have the formula del b equal del c plus x so wh why i i i write this uh, equations because you see here when i am you know putting this force 50 kilonewton downward so what will happen in here i can see the displacement right so the displacements is equal to there also have one displacement so this is called del c plus how many you know like the distance okay the distance is x here so i put the x all right so now here how i can get the x so i will use the trigonometry you know basic formula to get this one so you know just 
we will get like uh, divide uh, like multiply six and our degree so in here also one degree will you know like the angle will 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 create so what i am going to do i am going to so multiply this two things six and del c all right then what will happen in here so we have the del b okay so del b so del c and the x so what is the x value i mean this length is six theta c so i'm just you know plugging in here so del b equal del c plus theta c all right so now i will move to the next step so here is the next step so now basically we have to find out the beam deflection and slopes formula to get uh, to to get the del b all right so and you can get this solution uh, like the stable uh, uh, from the uh, statics book uh, structure analysis book sorry so you can get from there so in here you can see okay so from our primary structure all right so in our primary structure we can see the length okay so basically we have the length six meter all right so basically we have the length is six meter all right so what will happen in here i just write the formula in here okay so i have the del c you can see here the formula all right p l 3 e i okay i just write the formula here okay so we have the point load 50 okay l is the distance from here to here is six meter all right so that's why i put the six then i have the three ei from the formula what i'm going to do i'm just going to use my calculator to get this value three thousand six hundred divided three ei all right and this is the kilo newton meter cube because this is the kilo newton and this is the meter and we are doing cube so that's why cube kilo newton meter cube now we have the theta c all right so basically how we found out the theta c okay so theta c we can find out here by using this formula pl square by 2 ei okay let me know like introduce why i am doing uh, why i'm using this formula because in here i see this is the fixed uh, support and here we don't have any support right like this huh? so that's why i'm taking this formula here so i write because when i have this primary uh like for the primary structure so i had a in here i had a roller right ro roller support so what i did i just remove it okay so then what will happen in here so in here i will get the theta c uh, and delta c and the theta c all right so now i already got this value theta c i just plug in the formula okay i have the six okay six and the theta c so i have the theta c i already i already find out the theta c in here from uh, using the formula all right so now what I, I i give this direction to the downward because you can see here from the formula this you know the displacement is going downward so that's why i put downward all right so once we finish the uh, 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 compatibility equations then now we will go to find out the flexibility coefficient you can see in our formula of compatibility equation then we have uh, from the formula then we have to find out the flexibility coefficient so how i will get the uh, flexibility uh, uh, displacement i mean sorry in the fle flexibility coefficient so here you can see we have the displacement okay so the the displacement in here you can see the upward all right so that's why i write p l q 3 e i so in our uh, 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 this beam deflection and slope tables this is the downward force but we have the upward force so what i'm doing uh, now so you see here we have the upward force one kilo newton so i'm writing one kilo newton and this is the l l is total from here to here this is the 12 meter right so in here six meter and here six meter so now we don't have the uh now we don't have the uh, uh, uh like sort of which is called uh, the the point load so we don't have the point load so that's why i take the full distance 12 meter in here so i 12 and the formula is cube so i just you know do the calculation i will get 576 okay why i'm writing this upward because you see in here this uh, uh, reaction is is going upward all right so that's why i write upward sign all right now what i am going to do this is our 
like compatibility equation so now you can see i have the del b right so i have also del prime b okay so so we uh, if i you know uh, use uh, this formula so i will get the by fbv so where i get it you can see here okay you see here this is the uh, formula for the del prime b okay for the redundant all right so now what i will do i just uh, plug in the value in here so you see this this is the minus from the formula and we had the del b was 9000 okay and the by okay we don't have the by right but we have the fbv so i just write the fbv if i you know substitute this calculations these equations i will get the by equal 15.6 and this is the easy way and this is the kilo newton i forget to write sorry all right so now i have the by just i got 15.6 and i have the point load 50 kilo newton this is the distance six six meter and this is the distance six meter so this is the fixed support right so in the fixed support we have the ay ax and the moi in here have the vertical reaction horizontal reaction and the moment so what will happen in here so we know the all the sum i mean i mean summation of the vertical force equals zero okay so how many vertical force here so this is the ay right so i put ay and this is the downward force that's why I negative 50 kilo newton then this is the also upward so it will go positive plus 15.06 then if i do the calculations i will get the ay equal 34.4 kilo newton all right and the summation of x equals zero because we don't have any horizontal force in this beam right so that's why i write the fx equal zero all right now what will happen in here so we have the moment so for the moment okay we are we are going to you know find out the moment in this point okay so i if i going to you know if 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 i find out the the moment in this point so what will happen in here so i have you know like assumption you know i take the assumptions that the anti-clockwise is as positive all right so anti-clockwise moment as i take as positive so what will happen in here so this moment m m a so it is going uh, anti-clockwise or clockwise it is going clockwise right so okay so this is the anti-clockwise so that's why i take ma so sorry clockwise so that's why i put a minus ma then i put negative 50 so what will happen in this okay this one will go this way okay so it is you know in clockwise so in my assumption anti-clockwise is positive and clockwise is negative so that's why this is the clockwise so that's why i put negative and this is the 50 kilo newton and this distance is six so i just multiply to get the moment then plus okay so why i write the plus because you you see if i take this reaction to this moment so what will happen it will go through the anti-clockwise right so i i assumption that i take the assumption that the anti-clockwise will be positive all right so you see the anti-clockwise is a positive and the 12 is the total distance because it from here to here we have the 12 the distance all right so what will happen in here negative my uh, ma equal i just you know bring this negative 50 times 6 in here so it will be 300 and minus 15 minus 6 15.6 times 12 we will get the 187.2 so i do the uh, subtraction i will get the negative 112.8 okay so our moment is negative right so now we are using uh the reaction and the moment to get the uh shear to draw the shear force and the bending moment all right so now this is our beam okay all right so first of all we have to draw the beams then we have to you know uh, put the right uh, dimension for the for our distance so six meter and six meter and this is the point load so in here all right so what will happen in here so the first things i we have the reactions right so vertical reaction at a we have the 34.4 okay so 30.4.4 so first of all i draw this point okay so i draw this line x and x 
all right so from this point i have to go up because my vertical reaction is positive and going upward so 34.4 and here there is no load so that's why it will go straight line okay so from here this is the 50 kilonewton is the downward force uh, sorry downward yes so so what will happen in here so i will i will you know this is 34.4 minus okay this is the minus because it is going downward so minus 50 all right so i get the negative 15.6 so from this uh, point reference line i will go through negative negative 15.6 all right this is the negative 15.6 so from negative 15.6 you can see there is no you know uh this is there there is no force uh yes there is no force here so what will happen in here so it will go straight and then what will happen from here okay i have another 15.6 kilo newton vertical reaction to the upward so this is the positive right upward means the positive so what i had the value last time negative 15.6 i just add 15.6 you will get zero so that's mean it it's you know like we will add this point and we will get the shear force diagram now it's time to get the bending moment diagram so from the uh, from the calculations you already get the negative 112.8 as our moment so from the reference line i will go down uh, what because this is the negative so then okay so then okay i write minus 112.8 okay what will happen in, in this case okay we have to follow uh, in in this case i will follow the area uh, systems to get the uh, sh uh, bending moment so we have the area in here 206.4 so i just subtract you know it is it is positive so going up so plus 206.4 so i will get 93.6 in this point okay so from here what will happen so we have another bending uh, shear force here so in this shear force we have the dist uh, area so what is the area so area is minus 15.6 times 6 meters so we will get around you know uh, so 15.6 uh, times uh, 6 we will get 93.6 so if i subtract because this is the negative so i subtract and uh, it will come in this point and we will get the bending moment diagram thank you so much